Apple has just announced the latest iteration of iOS and it sure looks promising. The update, called iOS 11, brings quite a number of new features to the mobile operating system. So what exactly are they? Hey guys, I am Akshay from bbomb.com and in this video, I'll tell you about some cool new features that iOS 11 will bring to your devices. Before we get started though, do make sure you hit the bell icon to get notifications for all of our future videos. Now that you've done that, let's get started. The control center has been completely revamped in iOS 11 and I can't say I especially like it. Yes, the new design merges all of the panes back into one but I've been a fan of the separate panes for far too long. This new control center looks a bit cluttered to be honest. There are some good things though. The volume and brightness levels look good and are exceptionally smooth. 3D touch on the toggles shows off some more toggles including personal hotspot. The timer and flashlight 3D touch menus are now basically levels you can slide up and down on. Oh, and if you're looking for night shift, you can find it by 3D touching on the brightness level. One of the best things in Control Center is that it is now fully customizable. Yeah, you can just head over to Control Center in settings and change the apps that are visible in the Control Center and even the order in which they show up. The Notification Center behaves completely differently on iOS 11. Swiping down from the top to expose notifications brings back the lock screen, kind of, with the latest notifications visible. You can swipe up to view older notifications. Swiping left will reveal the widget screen as it always did, but now swiping right from the notification center reveals the camera. Also you can dismiss the notification center by simply touching the home button. iOS 11 finally supports native screen recording. The feature is hidden by default, but you can go to control center settings and add the screen record toggle to your control center. Then just swipe to bring up the control center and tap on the screen recording button. iOS 11 will then start recording the screen and save it to photos when you stop it. Apple finally allows users access to files on iOS. Even though it sounds as if you get access to the iOS file system, that's not what this is. Files is a replacement to iCloud Drive and brings new features like support for tags and more in a much more attractive interface. Messages have been completely redesigned. While typing out a new message, you will now see all the iMessage apps on the bottom of the screen. Digital Touch has also been moved to the row of apps on the bottom instead of the special place it had before. There are also two new screen effects, Send with Echo and Send with Spotlight. However, these new screen effects will only work if the receiver also has iOS 11. Saving storage has always been a big issue, even with 32GB devices. Apple has a brilliant new fix for this problem and it's called Offload Apps. When you offload an app, the iPhone deletes the app from memory but saves its data. So the next time you install the app, it automatically gets all of its data back. iOS 11 even includes a feature to automatically offload unused apps so you don't have to. And your iPhone will never run low on space again. iOS 11 brings native QR code support to the camera app. You can simply point the camera at a QR code and it will recognize it. If it's a URL, iOS 11 automatically suggests to tap to open the URL in Safari. So I can just point my camera at this QR code and iOS 11 automatically suggests that I can open bbomb.com in Safari.
the default keyboard in iOS also has a couple of new features. The most important one being one-handed mode. You can now press and hold on the globe icon and you'll see the option to shift the keyboard for right-handed operation or left-handed operation. iOS 11 also makes it easier to mark up screenshots. With the new update, anytime you take a screenshot, it will be visible for a while on the bottom left of your screen. Tapping on the screenshot directly takes us into markup mode. You can swipe the screenshot preview to the left in order to dismiss it if you like. The App Store has been completely redesigned and it looks a lot more like Apple Music than the App Store. There's a Today card that will always show the best apps of the day. There's also a card for App of the Day and more. These cards will be updated every day and you'll get fresh content every time you launch the App Store. Well, those were some cool new features that iOS 11 will bring to your devices. But which one is your favorite? Do let us know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That was all from my side. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.